The UK and the US are raising alarms about a potential deal between Russia and Iran that could involve exchanging nuclear secrets for ballistic missiles. This is seen as a way for Russia to boost its war effort in Ukraine. On Friday, UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer and US President Joe Biden met in Washington to discuss the growing military connection. They also covered other key aspects of the war such as how Ukraine is using Western long-range missiles to hit deep inside Russian territory. According to British sources, Starmer and Biden reviewed intelligence suggesting that Russia might be sharing nuclear technology with Iran. If confirmed, this is particularly troubling because Iran is pushing ahead with its uranium enrichment, a major step towards developing nuclear weapons. Ukraine's Western allies are convinced Iran has already given Russia short-range ballistic missiles, which could be deployed soon. In response, the US, UK, France and Germany have imposed fresh sanctions on Iran, criticizing these moves as dangerous escalations. Iran, though, denies any wrongdoing, calling these claims baseless. Russia hasn't directly denied the reports, but calls Iran an important partner, highlighting their growing cooperation. Earlier this week, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken and UK Foreign Minister David Lamy warned that Russia had received ballistic missiles from Iran. Blinken even even hinted that Russia might be sharing nuclear information with Iran, a move that could threaten both Israel and the US. Reports also indicate that Russia has trained dozens of its troops in Iran to use the F-80H 360 missile system, which has a range of about 75 miles. These missiles are reportedly already in Russia and could be used in the conflict against Ukraine. To rewind a bit, Iran agreed back in 2015 to halt its nuclear weapons program in exchange for sanctions relief. But that deal fell apart in 2018 when the US under President Trump withdrew. It's unclear now how close Iran is to having a nuclear weapon, but working with Russian experts could speed things up. This possible deal is also ramping up pressure on the US and UK to allow Ukraine to use more advanced long-range missiles such as UK's Storm Shadows and the US ATA CMS to target Russian military sites. This issue was a big topic during Washington meeting, but no final decision has been made. Several key conservative figures including five former UK defence secretaries and ex-Prime Minister Boris Johnson have urged Starmer to ease restrictions on Ukraine's use of these missiles, though US cooperation would still be needed for a full impact. 